there. Okay guys, I am doing kind of a clean out the kitchen fridge, uh, throw it all in type of a soup. So I wanna give you a few little ideas here with around that idea. Um, something that I love um, are these. So if you can zoom in, they are fire roasted peppers with onions. It's kind of like a fajita base. Um, and I've had these in my freezer for a long time. I'm also kind of cleaning out my freezer. Um, and I've used these before for a really nice kind of different soup base. So you're like soup base. What does that mean? And all I mean is I'm cooking them up and then I'm going to either throw them in my blender or use my stick blender and puree them. And so it's kind of almost like a pepper, um, an onion blended base, but first you got to cook them up. Additionally, I had a bag of shredded carrots in my fridge. They're starting to get a little sad. I didn't put them all in because I am going to put them on a salad tonight, but they're starting to get where they're like, they need to get used. So I threw those in. Carrots are naturally sweet, which is kind of going to be a nice little balance against the peppers. Um, and then I have, we had some people over for dinner last night. We did the, I did my favorite little slow roasted tomatoes. I have a video on that. Go back on my video history, slow roasted tomatoes. These are so good. You can eat like the entire pan for, I don't know, probably 50 calories, maybe hundred calories, somewhere in there. They're like, they're really low, but they're so full of flavor, um, garlic, thyme. And so I have a few left, I'm throwing them in. That'll be another little flavor profile. And then I will finish with chicken stock. So I'll just add this in. You could do vegetable stock if you were vegetarian or vegan. Um, but this is just gonna cook down till everything gets nice and soft. And then what I love about something like this, you could eat it just as a plain, simple broth. It's gonna be really full of flavor. I will probably pop in some garlic um, to this as well, but this is kind of the start for a lot of things. So I also have some cauliflower going in my oven. I'll show that part in just a little bit. I'm gonna roast up the cauliflower, chop it up, and then have roasted cauliflower chunks, not pureed in that brothy soup, because I love to have a little more body to my soup. But if you have chicken sausages, if you had leftover chicken or any leftover meat, you could throw that in. Um, you can also take other vegetables and throw them in. So get the base going, get it pureed, and then treat it as if that's like the broth of the soup. And then if you wanna cook things, let it hang out on your stove top for 30 to 45, maybe an hour, and depending on what you put in and how big it is. And you've got a really yummy soup that's super healthy and it's kind of cleaning things out if you need it. Um, what I will say about this product, Trader Joe's, other places probably have it, but this is really fun. So I really want to encourage you to give this a whirl if you don't already have it. Um, I have another bag, so I'll be making this again at some point. Also, leftover squash is really good. Leftover sweet potatoes. I have a sweet potato. Come with me. <laughs> I have one sweet potato in this little foil package. I'm totally on the fly today. It's an unusual delight of the bite day. Look at that, it's a little baby. That's gonna go in there. I'll just peel that skin off. You guys, I'm telling you, cooking can be really fun. I'm just gonna piece that up, pop that in there. It's gonna get all pureed. That'll give it some nice sweetness and some nice body and thickness. So isn't that colorful and happy? Oh, it's hot, um, but super good. So I'll be back with round two of when I kind of assemble it and give it some oomph and body. So see you in a sec. Okay, my veggies have been going for a little bit. They're getting nice and tender. I've used this many times before in other products, but I want to point this out. It's little crushed garlic. It's from Dorot, Dorot Gardens or Doro Gardens, if it's like French. See little tiny cubes of already pressed garlic. These are in my freezer at all times. They sell them, I think, at a few different stores. I get mine at Trader Joe's. Um, I think I've seen them at like Fred Meyer, so that's a Kroger. It's in the freezer section, but these are super handy. And I just popped two of them in nice and easy. So my chicken stock is gonna go in here and I'm gonna let this simmer um, with the chicken stock for probably 15, 20 minutes. So you can see it just goes in there guys, real easy. But really peruse your freezer. I bet you anything, you've got some vegetables that can easily go in there. Um, so this isn't really a recipe soup in the sense that it's like, you know, do this, do this, do this, do this. It's a little bit more the principles of getting vegetables in here, fresh, frozen, whatever, letting them, my oven's preheated, letting them cook till they're soft and sauteed, and then adding your stock, letting it kind of simmer in there, and I'm going to use my stick blender, so I'll plug that in a little bit. If you didn't, you could use your own, um, like a blender, just do it in smaller batches, so, because hot liquids in a blender, 
it's a bad idea if you fill it too much. So just do it in batches and then put it back into your soup pot and then add what you want. I'm gonna add, we have some chicken sausages. I'm gonna cut those up in kind of chunks and put those in. And then I'm gonna do the roasted cauliflower that I have in the oven right now. Um, maybe I'll find something else to add. Oh, we have spinach. I might finally chop some spinach in thin ribbons. Scott's like, mm, he just did that behind the camera. Uh, green, yeah, green. We're trying to be healthy, it's January. We have a lot of sins to atone for. Okay, see you in a little bit. Okay, I blended my soup. Now again, use your blender. I used my stick blender, it's in here. The carrot wasn't completely cooked, but those shredded carrots will cook up um, pretty quickly. And if I just let this simmer, any vegetable will obviously soften because that's what happens. So it's got a nice kind of, tastes like peppers, but not spicy peppers, like just bell peppers. If you've ever had like a roasted red pepper, tomato soup comes in the boxes like my chicken stock. It kind of reminds me a little bit of that, but more vegetable-y. So that's all blended up. You can, I don't know, can you see it? There it is. It's all blended up. But now it's just kind of like, what do you want to put in it? And honestly, you guys could practice this exact same thing with um, any sort of vegetables. I mean, carrot, celery, onion, I would say carrots and onion pureeing, like getting them really soft and pureeing them. But um, I had that frozen bag of, thing, of uh, peppers. But I took, we had some of these. Trader Joe's garlic herb sausages. They're pre-cooked chicken sausages. I just sliced those up. So those are gonna go in gently so I don't splatter myself. I just did two and I could add more. And then I was in the freezer kind of hunting around. Found some corn that had already been opened, some organic uh, frozen corn. So I'm gonna throw some corn in there. Not a lot, just a little. And much to Scott's dismay, a little chopped spinach. It's not much and, sh and spinach will cook down um, a lot. Plus, when you put spinach in things, honestly, it doesn't have a super strong flavor. Like, spinach, that's why spinach is so good in smoothies. It doesn't have a dominant flavor. So it's not like this is going to be all spinachy. And it'll make it look pretty because the green against the red, it's you with our eyes, right? And then, last but not least, it's very hot, my roasted cauliflower. So the thing that's important with whatever, like, chunked vegetables, you want to make sure that they're bite-sized. So look how little those guys are. They're like smaller so that you can pop them in your mouth. And the same thing with my um, with my uh, sausage. So sorry, you can't see. I wish I had professional cameras, but I got, I got the job done. So that's all going in there, you guys. And then I'm just gonna let this simmer for probably the next 20 minutes or so, and then we'll be eating lunch. And it's super healthy, super delicious. I used up things I had on hand, so um, you know, whatever that might look like for you. Maybe you're like, gross, I don't love spinach or cauliflower, and maybe you love corn or whatever. Keep it really simple, but having that vegetable kind of base, but then you puree it, it's a good way to get in a lot of healthy vegetables without maybe having as much chunk, and then you can put in the vegetables you love. Um, but the idea is kind of clean things up, but you're still having something healthy and filling your belly, and it's really good. So I think I'll just call this kitchen sink soup because right you say throw everything in but the kitchen sink so it's kind of a make up what you want what you have on hand but hopefully i taught you a few principles so delighted the fight subscribe share tell your friends and watch my other videos there are so many good things out there my egg roll in a bowl has almost 7.4 or 7.5 thousand views what the heck I don't even know who's watching this, but it's a little scary. Um, Delight of the Bite, or at Delight of the Bite on Instagram. And it's super helpful if you watch these videos to like them or share them or um, Scott's mouthing something. Just say it. I don't know what you're saying. Comment. Comment. Oh, yeah. Comments are super helpful. And if you have a question, I will reply. And underneath each video, there's an area where you can open up and show more and see the description where I write the recipes out. This one, I don't know if I'll have recipes. I may have just some general notes, but... Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Psych, best part, test tasting. <sighs> Sorry, I almost left you guys hanging because I know you love to hear me groan and moan about food and I get really into it. So I don't know, at least my family like loves to make fun of me. So I'm just giving you more ammunition. Okay, I got a piece of sausage, piece of roasted cauliflower, some spinach. First off, it's real pretty. It's a lot of colors, it smells delicious little garlic and that fire roasted pepper gives it a little smokiness. So that's kind of fun. It's a little hot. I'm scared, but I know it's going to taste good. 
Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's going to eat like a meal. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Ooh, sausage is really good. Okay. I love stuff like this. Make it up on the fly. Hopefully, you have been inspired to try something along these lines. Obviously, unless you do exactly what I do, your soup won't, soup won't taste just like this. But I love having those textures, the layers of flavor with the different vegetables, with the chunk of the sausage. You could also do beans if you were trying to keep it vegetarian or vegan. Um, but I love, and like I said, if you just had the soup base, it would have been great. So anyways, give this one a try. I'm going to eat now. Bye-bye. Thank you.